and talk about the Africa Cup of Nations. What are you looking out for? Uh, I do believe that Ghana is for sure not one of the favorites. Uh, they've been in the past, but they've not performed and they've not delivered. So I believe that this time they might have uh, uh, less spot light on them to, 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 to be able to force to, to cope with the pressure. You know, when everybody thinks that you might win, then all the eyes are on you. Do we have the players that are capable to, to handle that pressure, that responsibility? So I'm not sure. So it's good. Nobody thinks that Ghana can, can make it. So they can gradually work very hard, go through the, this uh, first round, even if they have Cameroon and other big... Uh, uh, Benin. Uh, and Benin. So we hope that gradually they will build up their capacity to, 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 to start to show us that in the second round, if they qualify, they can now uh, gather all this pressure and, 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 and make the difference for us. What will be our strength or what do you think our strength will be, especially going into this as underdogs, if I should put it? I'm not sure that we have that individual players that can really make the difference at any time that we are willing to. I think that it's more a collective aspect of the tournament for Ghana to, for the performance. All together at the same time at our best level. I remember in 98, the coach said, look, Guys, I'm going to make you work very hard. You have to follow what I'm, I'm, I'm doing. Don't think that I'm crazy because I know exactly what I'm doing. So he makes us work very hard to be prepared for the second round. And in the second round, we were physically ready for the battles because of the preparation that the, the coach has been enough clever to give it to us. So because he happy to have a, a good, very difficult task to find out which Apart from the tactics, the setting, uh, 4 2 3 one or 4 4 2 or 4 3 3 uh, I don't know how he's going to... <laughs> In your perspective, what should be the strategy? Collectively, you need to. So probably uh, 4 2 3 one could be the one. You need people in the, mid, in, the, in the midfield. You have wingers, you have players who are capable to, to play. You have a top striker at front who can hold the ball, who can be that point of reference for the rest of the team. And you have a lot of midfield who knows how to touch the ball. And you have to educate them to be disciplined and to, uh, when you are not in the position of the ball, to be able to come back. Uh, you know, in the, in the defensive transition to be able to create, you know, defensive foundation. Uh, so these are the little tricks that he knows already. Then it's going to be mind games. The tactics in the, in the African football have, have quite uh, uh, grown a, a lot. So I'm happy and pleased to see that uh, players understand now, read, read the tactics, are more disciplined. We've lost a little bit of fantasy uh, skill, skills. Skillful players. skillful players like we were having before, uh, but we have now modern players who are used to grow and, you know, understand the modern football. So less skills, but more discipline, more tactic. So yeah, let's see who is the, the most clever to make the difference. Which team are you tipping to win? Ghana. <laughs> if I don't say Ghana, they will... <laughs> imagine what happens no, to me. I say Ghana. We've... Oh, wow. think, um... Egypt, I don't want to say Cameroon again, uh, even if I have also my, my ex-teammate uh, Clivert and uh, Clarence Sidorf yeah. who are training uh, Cameroon. Um, I believe that Egypt can, can really make it. Morocco is also a very good side. So, you know, it's football. So, let's go for Ghana.